Hi, this is Stella from Better Life, and we're talking about ways to finish strong so you can hit the ground running. In our last segment, we said that you have to let things go. Well, in this segment, we're going to tell you the next step so you can finish strong. When you let things go, you have to remind yourself that you cannot go back. There's a scripture in the Bible that talks about a dog returning to its own vomit. That's nasty. You see a dog, something's made him sick, he throws it up, spits it out, and then a few hours later he goes back to eat the same thing that just made him sick. You can't do that. When you let things go, you have to sever all ties. That means if he beat you the last time and you broke up and now he's calling you again, trying to get back in your space, he's sending you text messages, he's sending you notes on Facebook, he's trying, you know, sending you, you know, it, it, oh, something happens and he sends you, oh, I'm sorry this happened. You can't go back. You have to sever all ties permanently forever. You cannot go back. Because if they did it once, most likely they haven't changed. And they're not, if they weren't good for you then, they're not good for you now. If they didn't help you, bless you, prosper you, increase you, make you better then, it's not going to change. So sever all ties. Don't go back to the thing that made you sick. Don't go back to the relationship that broke your heart. Don't go back to the person who was dishonest, disloyal, who cheated on you. Don't go back. Sever all ties. That means don't respond to the text messages, block the phone number, get the restraining order, whatever, change the locks, whatever you have to do to sever all ties. Do it. That's way number two, to finish strong so you can hit the ground running. Keep watching. We've got lots more strategies for you to finish strong coming up. But until then, you make it a terrific day.